Good evening. Happy Wednesday evening. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I just wanted to come in and talk about something that I just brought up in my high school class um, about use of profanity um, in this culture. Um, I was raised back in Iran and um, um, we were not supposed to be rude or impolite or use any profanity words um, towards anyone, especially our elders. And it's interesting that here in these days, um, our kids are being brought up um, using the F word, the A word, the B word, the C word, the D word, the P word, constantly without even um, understanding what's going on, uh, without even giving themselves a second thought that it might hurt. I know that the way they talk about it, they, they say the words, uh, the connotation that it has and all this, the way they put that feeling into it is so important. But how do you feel about the use of profanity in our everyday culture? And I, I, I mean, I wish I could talk to you guys. I mean, you can send me messages right now. It's just that I might not be able to multitask and read everything. Um, hi, Hala Jun. Hi, Azizullah. How are you guys? So, um, the way you were brought up, um, how was it? I remember uh, going to school, uh, our teachers were Mr. and Mrs. or Dr. such and such. Um, here, I know that these are all labels, don't get me wrong. Um, I am, I am Nushin. I am Dr. Nushin. Yeah, I have a PhD. Okay, it's a label, but what do I do with it is important. I can be called anything, um, but I require and request just respect from anyone who is in contact with me. I want to know where you guys are standing. Is that something that's important for you? Nobody was rude to me. Don't get me wrong. It's just that part of our American culture, the curse words have become second words and kids are being raised with them. They're using them without even giving a concern about uh, how hurtful it can be. And then it becomes so second nature that it doesn't matter if you're their friend, their peer, their classmates, or their parents or the teachers, they just come on and they give it to you. And I wanna know where you're standing on that. I remember my daughter is a very good entrepreneurial coach. And what she does is she, she uses foul language. That's the way she is. So she was on Instagram posting stuff on live. And then my brother started getting upset and asking her not to say those words. And she, she just simply said, you know, if you don't like me, you don't watch me and I can delete you anytime. I want to know where you're standing as an audience. If I come here and I say curse words, are you still going to watch me? Can you relate to me better? Or you're just going to say she's not worth it. I don't want to listen to her anymore. It's not that I'm going to say these things. Honestly, I just want to see if you can send me some comments. Um, because um, a lot of you are people who have uh, different backgrounds than being pure Americans. So it's important to see our, you know, the cultural differences, what messages they give you and they gave you when they were when you were little and you were being brought up. So I really don't want to take too much of your time. And uh, I want to an open conversation if possible. As always, I say, maybe I do a Zoom 
with all of you so we can be in uh, in constant conversation with each other and then I'll see you know where we're standing the other thing is as I told you before I keep learning stuff and uh, I started learning how to upload my videos on YouTube, I'm my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is Nushin Nikfarjon, and I have um, I don't know over twenty some uh, videos, and I'm trying to upload all the videos that I have as live Facebook videos on there in case that you guys want to go back and listen or share or whatever you guys you want to do it. So it would be nice if you subscribe to my channel and uh, you know have the information whenever you like you can just go there watch the videos and uh, either learn send me comments i would really appreciate it so as always thank you for being here and i would love to be in contact with each and every one of you i'm gonna say a few names Azizullah Ahmadi, Elizabeth Malikan, I love you guys. John Kohanzadeh, and oh my God, mutual respect. Yes, Elizabeth, I know. Benjamin Davidi, thank you again for being here. Shoram Marvazi. Anyway, I love you guys. Um, thank you for watching me. And um, yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Nushin Nikvarjan. As always, you can always send me messages and we'll be in contact. And just know I love you. I really do. I mean, I know some of you, but my heart loves everyone that's there and connecting with you. So until next time, I see you. Love you.